Hi, I'm Anna. I am a product design student from the University of the Arts in Berlin and I am behind the project plus minus 25 degrees. Hello, I'm Esme. I'm 25 years old and I'm originally from the Netherlands, from the south of the Netherlands. Esme and I uh, have been living in Berlin since a few years now and we're both living in an Altbauwohnung. An Altbauwohnung is what we Germans call a flat in an old house, which is built before 1948 and which has beautiful high ceilings and large windows. So these are our rooms which we both really love because they are so bright and very charming. But to be honest, we had to get used to the fact that it gets very hot in summer and because of climate change, as you all know, we had many heat waves in the last years. And it just felt like it was hotter inside my room than it is outside. And the thing is that these apartments were not built for this heat. Currently I'm living in Japan where I'm doing my semester abroad. And I recognize that actually almost no one lives here without an air conditioner. And it seems that the people are so used to air conditioners that it's almost impossible to be without them for a few seconds. And I've seen weird things like people leaving on their cars when they go shopping so that they can return to a cool place as fast as possible again. And also I've seen people walking around with these weird phone chargeable USB ventilators. But the problem with these items is that in order to cool us down, they actually need to heat up first. So technically they are making the world an even hotter place by blowing hot air outside. Crazy, right? That means they amplify climate change by consuming a lot of energy. In addition to that, they cover whole facades in a lot of cities already, which doesn't look so nice. Air conditioners are bad for our health because they dry out the air in the room, which makes us more susceptible for bacteria. And the problem with fans is that they don't even really cool down a room, they just blow around wind while using electricity and they create a lot of noise. So this was the trigger for us to find a nicer, a healthier and most important a more sustainable solution for our living environment. So we asked ourselves how can we regulate the indoor temperature with using existing clever things and without high cost and complexity. We started to think about ways we control temperature in the past and found inspiration in a very simple and common household item that you all know, the curtain. The curtain doesn't only provide us from private space and restricts airflow, but it also has a history in insulating and protecting us against sunlight and drafts. So we also discovered a very interesting material which is used to regulate temperature without the use of electricity. The name of this material is PCM, which stands for Phase Changing Material. We found out that it's a long-lasting material that actually surrounds us more as we think. You could know PCM, for example, from cool packs or these hand warmers, and it also comes in refrigerators. We saw the material for the first time at the Futurium Museum in Berlin. There it is integrated in some of their walls. PCM comes in different types of materials, like for example as water, but also as wax and paraffines or salt hydrates. And it comes in different forms. Until now, PCMs are mainly seen in the construction building industry. And therefore the material is available in small particle size. PCM exists in a micro-encapsulated form which looks a bit like sugar powder and it can be mixed with other building materials. So you're probably wondering how does this material exactly work? When the material transforms between a solid and a liquid state, it has the capability to absorb and release energy in the form of heat or cooling. That means when the room temperature gets above the melting point of the PCM, the PCM starts to turn liquid and when changing to liquid 
it cools the air around it because it absorbs energy in form of heat. When the room temperature drops again, for example during the night, the absorbed energy is released again. So it basically functions as a self-maintaining temperature regulating system. So for us the challenge was how can we apply PCM to a room in a subtle, affordable way that makes sense and that doesn't require renovations in the old buildings. Plus minus 25 degrees Celsius. It is a temperature regulating curtain which is printed with phase changing material that has its melting point at 25 degrees Celsius. So how does it work? It is actually very simple. PCM is mixed with paint and then applied to fabric via screen printing. The curtains are printed from both sides with a total of two layers to, to optimize the best effect of temperature regulation. And about one square meter contains one kilogram of PCM. Our pattern designs are inspired by the shape of conventional radiators and cooling systems and the structural change of the PCM when it turns from solid to liquid. We also offer different solutions for different settings, for example a single layer curtain for smaller spaces or a multi-layer curtain for bigger spaces. We also develop curtains printed with PCM mixed with foam. And the use of foam on one side creates the effect that this layer heats up and cools down slower because of the additional material, which delays the melting process of the PCM. And as a result, the different layers work at different times and the curtain has a more sustainable effect. The production of our curtain can be easily adapted by any textile producer as we use the very common printing technique and only very little changes are needed. So imagine buildings equipped with these curtains instead of facades covered with ugly devices that make noise, can break after a while, are bad for your health and most important eat energy and therefore will heat up the world even faster. With our project, we hope to offer a more sustainable and efficient solution in comparison to fans and air conditioners. And we really hope to continue with the development to once make our curtains an accessible item for everyone. Thank you.